Hey guys, my name is Mike Wagner and I am coming to you today live from one of my storage facilities because I wanted to share with you um, probably the most critical formula uh, that I know when it comes to uh, finding and buying self-storage facilities as a way uh, to make some real money. And uh, these are the formulas that I use to buy roughly four million dollars worth of self-storage facilities over the last six or seven years. Um, and again, this is a short video, so it's going to be kind of back of the napkin type of calculations. But when I'm looking for storage facilities and I've identified one that uh, intrigues me for whatever reason, whether it's in a listing or I'm, I'm responding to a direct mailer, I'm going to run it through this formula. And what I'm going to do is take the current revenue, the income, I'm going to subtract out the current expenses, and that is going to get me a net operating income. Now to get a very rough potential value of this property based on its current financials, we're simply going to multiply that number by 10. So as by way of example, let's talk about a facility that's currently making 100 grand and they're spending 40 grand on expenses in a year. That leaves an NOI, net operating income of 60 grand. That property very generically speaking, is going to be worth somewhere around $600,000. Now I'm going to kind of do plus or minus one NOI to get a range. So anywhere from 540 to 660 is that range based on its current income. Now what I'm going to do to see if this property fits my criteria for purchasing a storage facility is I'm going to then run the same exact formula but based on potential revenue. So if it were full, what would it bring in? And let's say in this example, the property's um, you know, suffering some, some vacancy. Let's say it could bring in $150,000 a year. Expenses of 50 grand, which would be an industry standard 33% of income going toward operational expenses, is gonna leave a net operating income if it were full and running with normal expenses of $100,000. $100, as a net operating income. Using the same multiple of 10, that means it's a million dollar property, or at least has the potential to be. Again, we're gonna do the range thing, subtract one NOI, add one NOI, so the potential value here is 900,000 to 1.1 million. This is gonna tell me, hey, this property might have some potential, let's dig deeper. Anytime I look at a property, I'm gonna run that formula. It takes about two minutes to do the as-is valuation, and then the uh, kind of best case valuation and if there's a big enough delta there I know I want to spend more time investigating clearly our numbers are going to need to be fine-tuned as we dig deeper but if those two formulas produce numbers that are not far enough apart to get excited about I don't want to waste any time looking at supply and demand and the competition and uh, the demographics of the market and all of those other things that of course we need to do before we buy the property um, those come later. This is the down and dirty, let's find out if there's potential here and then we'll go from there. Um, so hopefully you guys found that valuable. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do is take a quick look at, uh, poke around our Facebook page and YouTube. Uh, if you find anything of value or have questions, certainly comment and I will be sure to respond. Thanks so much guys. Have a great one.